in six, seven percent interest. Oh. So you should pay people twenty thousand dollars a year in interest and it can quickly get out of control. You mentioned that uh, oh, this is a program that lets you cover their full cost and living expenses. And I think that's important because if you're doing oh, everything oh, on the loan, that's where the high prices are really coming from. Absolutely. So Black Watch is it's an unknown for the home loan program, but what it means essentially is graduate students through the program can borrow up to the cost of a student to college, including books, fees, living expenses, etc. And so no matter how high college is set courses, students can borrow in grad with it. And yeah. that is the of people having half a million dollars in federal loans. Tuition has risen at all levels of education, but including veterinary schools and dentistry schools, we have some numbers in our story, but so the average debt load has increased really dramatically over the last 20 years, certainly faster than salaries. And the families don't borrow more than you owe, and even a, a dentist is earning nationally the median salary for dentists is around 150,000. And that is still far from what people are just putting to actually borrow in. For the industries themselves, oh, yeah. uh, if a student has this high debt, they're going to go where the highest paying job is. A lot of time that they're going to other places. And it's going to be debt and services in certain areas, certain rural areas. Oh, yeah. It could be sort of done. It could be sort of veterinarians and other oh, health providers. And uh, so it could create these gaps and services also. That could be a, another problem that's happening. There's far more consequences of this. If you have four hundred thousand dollars in veterinary school debt, it's really hard to make that choice to go through a rural veterinarian. Most of these people that we talk to are on what are called income driven repayment plans. So the government lets you make payments according to your income. And that's ultimately very beneficial for the students in the short term. The problem is in the long term their balances will grow because they're not covering interest. And so you end up in these situations Check where right. you can get your debt forgiven after 20, 25 years, but you're going to owe this huge tax bill on your debt forgiveness. So we're dealing with a situation where there are really long-term consequences for the students. There are long-term consequences for these professions, including you know a lack of rural dentists and veterinarians. And then there are long-term consequences for taxpayers. We've written in our reporting throughout the year that Grad Plus was thought to be a, a money maker for the, you know, the government. People could borrow money and and they'd all pay it back because they're going to grad school, right? So they're they're going to be wealthy and they'll all pay it off. But my colleague Josh Mitchell has written about how the federal government's lending program is actually potentially facing a budget hole because people are actually not paying off what they're borrowing. Sarah is one who finished her veterinary studies at University yeah, of Pennsylvania with about $400,000 in student debt. And this is, I guess, a, uh, an extra 30000 from loans from prior studies also. So she has $430,000 worth of debt. She is working as an associate veterinarian for about $100,000 a year, but I think in the end of the story, the debt came out, I guess, overall, she would have had $700,000 total because of accumulating interest. I mean, that is insane amounts of money. It really is. And, yeah, Sarah was using a calculator provided by a veterinary...